Hi guys, so today I have a book haul for you guys and it's a really big book haul so I actually haven't decided I may make this into two parts so that way I actually have some time to maybe say a few things about the book <laughs> instead of just showing you like the book, the title, the author, and then the next one so that way you can maybe actually take something from this and maybe you will see a new book that you would like to get or something and you can add it to your huge TBR list like I have. <laughs> One of these books is from a giveaway that I won and the majority of these books, um, Jake was actually at an auction and saw a big box of books and he recognized a lot of the books that I like maybe have talked about in the past or something. So he got the whole box for me for like only 20 bucks which is awesome. And then I got them and most of them I really wanted and there were a few I knew they would just sit on my shelf and collect dust and I would never read them a lot like some of them were like horror stories that I would just never really get into a lot of Stephen King and stuff so I took those books to the local new and used bookstore and that bookstore is awesome by the way they take in nice used books and then they give you credit and then I actually with that credit got some used books that I have actually really been wanting so I got some of those books and kind of added on so I'll show you those at the end so the first book that I got um, I wanted a giveaway. Jamie uh, over at Jayhan18, she had a giveaway, and I won Warm Bodies by Isaac Marion, and I am so excited about this book. Um, I have not heard a single person talk bad about this book. I've heard the movie was pretty good. Never read a book about zombies, so this will be interesting but basically it's just about an, a zombie that I don't think he has like a memory or anything he's just kind of like a shell of a person and he ends up falling in love with a very human girl which is very strange and it starts to kind of change him in ways and stuff so I guess it's kind of like a love story but it's um, a very interesting type of a love story so I am excited to read this and it's not really that big so I'm excited. So the next book I have, this by the way is starting the pile that I got from the auction, um, is Crank by Ellen Hopkins. And I have heard of this book, like I've seen it in many bookstores and stuff. I just never really picked it up. I actually saw it at my library and I was almost about to check it out and I didn't. So this is about a high school girl that I, it kind of seems like she's got the perfect life and till she meets the monster Crank. And basically it's just about how this drug like destroys her life and her, you know, family and stuff. And it's just, I think, really sad. It sounds kind of like an intense story. Um, I read the first like few pages and I think it's going to be really cool because it's written in kind of like a poem form. And I've read a few books like this, but not that many. So it'll be fun and kind of different. Um, I also read in the beginning, the author said that this story is about her very own daughter. So... That's kind of sad, but um, yeah, I'm excited to read this. The next one I have is Go Ask Alice, and this is pretty similar to Crank. It says, read her diary, enter her world, you will never forget her. Um, it's a first-person account of a teenage girl's Halloween descent into the nightmarish world of drugs. So, kind of one of those stories that uh, you learn a very valuable lesson. Serious stuff. Okie dokie, so the next book I have is The Bridge to Terabithia by Katherine Patterson. And I believe this is a children's book. I think it's also a movie, but I haven't read it or watched the movie. Um, so I'm not really sure. I think it's just like these two kids that create like an imaginary kingdom in the woods where they hang out. I think it's just like the story of their friendship and... It's not very big, and yeah, I would be maybe interested in reading like the book and then watching the movie, so yeah, might be fun. So this next book I'm excited for, um, I watched the movie, I didn't know it was a book, and then I heard a couple booktubers talking about it, and that is The Confessions of a Shopaholic by Sophie Kinsella, and I did watch the movie, and I thought the movie was great, and so yeah, I got this, um, I'm so excited, this is like obviously the movie copy. This main girl just is obsessed with shopping and if she feels down about something she'll go shop some more and it's just like this awful unending just like cycle and um, I think she's just like in debt and she's trying to pay back all these bills that she owes because she has so much stuff 
And I just really like the movie, so I thought that this would be fun to read. And it'd be fun to read maybe this summer. I'm kind of looking for some standalone books to read, and it's really not that big, so I'm probably going to read this soon. The next book I have is Speak by Laurie Anderson, and I actually don't know much about this book, I'm going to be honest. I have heard a lot of people talk about like the book, like I've heard it mentioned, but I didn't really ever know what it was about. And then I've seen it like in stores before, but I just never picked it up. And I got my own copy now though, so I was like, hmm. So even the back is very vague, like some sometimes the like back of a book will almost give you too much information. That is definitely not the case with this one. It's just talking about a girl named Melinda, how she doesn't really have any friends, like her old friends won't talk to her. Um, she kind of seems like she is someone that really follows the rules and stuff, and she like ended up calling like she busted a party by calling the cops on her friends. Um, she said the safest thing place to be is alone inside her own head, but even that's not safe because there's something she's trying not to think about, something about the night of that party, which if she let it in would blow her carefully constructed disguise to smithereens, and then she would have to speak the truth. So I think it's a, um, I don't think this is a very lighthearted book. I think it's got some very serious like issues as what I've heard some very like sad topics and things but it's won like some awards and stuff and I've heard it's just a really great book. I've heard people say that like everyone should read it and stuff so um, I'll be happy to you know I'll be excited to pick this up soon. The next book I have is a much more lighthearted book and that is He's Just Not That Into You by Greg B. Rent and Liz Tusilio something close to that and I did again I didn't know this was a book I actually watched the movie and it's got like that movie has tons of really well-known like actors and actresses in it and it's very it is a very like simple book about you know girls making excuses like oh well, he's just not ready to be in a serious relationship oh he had to do this for his grandma blah 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 or maybe he's just not that into you this book was written by two people that like the comedian Greg was a consultant for three consecutive seasons of Sex and the City and then Liz was an executive story editor of Sex and the City. So they were both from that and they both kind of just gave their advice I, th I think it sounds like. So this book just kind of sounds like some lighthearted book kind of just about how to really get like a good look into a guy's head on you know some girls just kind of look way too into things and they want things to work out and all this stuff and maybe he's just not that into you and you should move on kind of thing and I, I, I thought the movie it's been a while since I've watched it I think I liked it I thought it was I don't remember that much about it so maybe it wasn't that great and maybe that's why I don't remember it hmm. the next two books I got um, I actually got at that new and used bookstore and I recently just picked up the first Vampire Academy book by Rachel Mead and I ended up picking up these two books. I got Shadow Kiss and Blood Promise which are both Vampire Academy novels and I think this is actually three and four. I think I don't have number two which you know stinks but these were the only two they had and I was trying to really pick books like I think I would like and I've heard really great things about the, this series. I've heard it just keeps getting better and better. And I mean, worst case, if I don't like it, I could always take this back to the used bookstore and trade it in for something else. I, I hope to be starting this series soon. I'm not right, right now I'm not in the mood for any like paranormal anything. I'm really in the mood for like contemporary, maybe like standalone books at the moment. But I'm pretty sh I my mood changes all the time, so. For all I know, next week I might pick these up. I don't know. The next book I have I am crazy excited about. I got Across the Universe by Beth Revis. And I was waiting to buy this because I thought I would get the new covers. Like, but I hate them. I think they're so ugly. So I'm like, no, no. Instead of having three ugly books, I'll just have two pretty books and then one ugly. And then they just won't match. But that's okay because mostly the series will look pretty. So anyways, and I like the spines too. I think they look cool on the shelf. So I've been wanting to read this for a while. I honestly think like probably 80% of the booktubers I watch have read this and reviewed it and all generally liked it. So it's a series, um, it's a trilogy that I think would interest me. Uh, it's set in space and I really like 
sci-fi books and it's a romance I believe so I love romance so that was it for this part of the book haul I'm gonna stop it here and so it's not like 25 minutes long but I hope you guys enjoy this let me know if you've read any of these books and your thoughts but just don't spoil it for me if I haven't read it and um yeah part two will be up really soon as well as I have a June ebook haul coming very soon never really done that before but I will show you some my new books on my nook and um that's pretty much it so I hope you all are having a great day and we'll see you very soon with my next video bye